In this video, I want to answer the question, what is browser caching? My name is Neil Matthews, and I'm a WordPress consultant, and a lot of the work I do is to performance tune and speed up WordPress sites. Browser caching is one of the key tools I use to do that. What is a browser cache? It's a tool to speed up your WordPress site. Let me explain it like this. When a visitor comes to your website, the website tells their browser to store parts of the website or to store the content locally on their site. Let me give you an example. So a visitor comes to your site, their browser is told to save the site logo locally in their browser cache. That logo is downloaded, saved on somebody's PC or Mac, and the next time they visit the site or go to a page that requires the logo, instead of jumping over to the website and downloading again, it just serves it up locally from the cache. So it speeds up that part of loading the page. The types of content that can be stored in the browser cache are images, CSS files. The CSS files are the look and feel of your site, the colors, the fonts, that kind of thing. JavaScript files and other multimedia content. So here's a image to try and explain it a little bit better. So the browser comes and requests a page from the web server. So if there's images or scripts or CSS files or other multimedia, they're downloaded to the browser. So a copy of that image is downloaded and stored in the browser here. Same for the scripts and the other content I mentioned. So this red arrow represents a time lag. So the first time the image is downloaded, it'll take a little bit of time. But when it's loaded from the browser, the speed is far faster because we don't have this download process. So how do you set up a browser cache? There are common cache plugins out there, such as W3 Total Cache, WP Super Cache, and my favorite, WP Rocket all have cache built into them. So you just load that plugin up, activate the caching, and it'll do it for you. You can also use HT Access, where you enter a series of entries to tell the server to save these types of content with caching, or it, you could have a cache at the server level. So companies like WP Engine or Flywheel, they are built in server caching. So you check with your hosting company and they can implement that for you. If you don't have a cache installed or set up, by default, all that content will be held on the web server. And each time somebody visits the page, it has to be downloaded again and served up that way. So implementing a browser cache significantly improves the time to load up a web page from your site. So why does your developer always clear your browser cache? I think it might be relevant, uh, self-relevant now. What is stored in your cache might not be what your developer has fixed. So if you ask your developer to change the colors of your title or something like that, that would be in a CSS file. And that might not be stored, or that might be stored in your cache. So the changes he's done on the server are not rep represented on your browser. So when you clear the cache, that CSS file will be downloaded and you look at the latest version of the site that your developer has created for you. We say it a lot. <laughs> We're not covering our backsides. It really is a valid reason. Clear your browser cache if your developer is working with you. So what I'm going to have a do is have a quick demo. We'll look at the cache on my PC. I use Google Chrome. So you'll see that the files are held locally on my machine. We're going to clear the cache and you'll see that the files are gone and then we're going to regenerate the cache by visiting my website and we we'll see what is downloaded. Let's jump over and do that dem demonstration now. Okay, let's have a look at my local browser cache. This is relevant for Google Chrome. Um, I'll add links below this video to where you can find things for Safari, Internet Explorer and Firefox. But essentially, 
you go to users, your username, app data logo, and for example, we've got Microsoft, so Internet Explorer might be under there, or if we're going to Google, and then Chrome, user data, and we should have cache under here somewhere. Sorry, it's not under cache, it's under default, and then cache. So there we have a series of files. Obviously they don't look like logo.png or neilmatthews.css or anything like that. These are encrypted by the, um, by the browser. You can see there's hundreds and hundreds of them there. Let's scroll right down to the bottom. And there's an index that tells your browser which of these match the remote site file. So if we look at these, they're just going to be, so it's an image of some description. Other than that, I can't really know because none of the information is shown. It's just encrypted as, as an image. So let's load up my browser, clear my cache and return here and see what it looks like. So I'm in my Google browser, just control shift and delete will generate a browser cache clear. So you can see I don't clear my browser cache very often so it's a fairly slow process. <laughs> I'm going to lose all my passwords and have to log into all my sites again. It's a big pain about cleaning your browser cache. You can see there's 200 meg of files stored. So a lot of data is saved. So now if we jump back over to our cache, you can see there's hardly anything left there now. Just a couple of data points in the index. And imagine that's an image that's come from the Google download. So let's cancel that. And load my site. So a little bit slower than usual, um, particularly the background image, that's taking some time to load up. Now if we go back, you can see that all these files have been downloaded from my website and saved in the cache. So that's browser caching for you. Just to reiterate, things like these background images, uh, these icons, images from my blog posts, they'll all be stored locally on my browser cache now. And when I refresh a page, they're gonna be served up from that browser cache rather than downloading them again from the server. Got any questions about that? Please let me know.